now preparing to leave at the end oh of my. the term. Yes, these university students say the one thing they will not miss as they prepare to leave is the state of the dorm. <laughs> from the water leakage under John. <laughs> I spilled something, but then I realized that it's coming from the, probably coming from the radiator. To the state of the toilet. <laughs> like the bathroom is pretty disgusting. These students say there's a level of neglect in the building and that complaining has done little to oh change so things. Oh my God. I feel like everyone that works here knows that this place is crap <laughs> and that they just, um, you know, know that they can get away with it because we're only here for a short time. There are students here from countries as diverse as Australia, Mexico, Belgium, Sweden, Germany, and other countries. A very international community indeed. And not all these students are going to have very pleasant stories to tell when they go home. But wait a minute. Please, <gasps> the university really does care. It bothered me very much. Hence, that as soon as we were made aware of the, the issues up there, we organized meetings. Meetings in which complaints were aired and acted on, says York. He also says the students have a part to play here, too. I wouldn't call them slobs. I would definitely say that there are a few individuals that may not be doing their part. And that <gasps> it only takes one or two people to really bring down the morale in an entire group. York says plans are underway for renovations in this dorm and a newer, fresher approach, all of which comes too late for this group now left with a sour taste for university life <laughs> in Halifax. Mark Petroni, CTV News, Halifax. <laughs>